<laughs> Got you scared, didn't I? Well, don't you worry, that's not real. That's just one of my projects. Hey everyone, my name is Andrew and I know exactly what you're thinking about. Wow, you're so sexy and so hot, but why are you wearing sunglasses inside the house? And that, my friend, is because I'm not looking at the camera, I'm actually reading off my script. I made an AI that's able to survive, I made an AI that's able to fight zombies, that's able to choose between different guns, heck, I even made an AI that's able to run from a dragon through an endless hallway, and now it's finally the time, the moment you've all been waiting for, or maybe not, but who cares, I made an AI that is able to run from a monster and escape a haunted house, boo, scary, just like your mom. Alright, let me explain to you dum-dums how it actually works. This is our agent. Oh, right, right, we forgot to give him a name. Hmm, let him be Giovanni Giorgio, but we can simply call him Giorgio. Giorgio will try to escape a haunted mansion, however, the only exit from that place is closed. To open it, he will have to find and collect all 13 soul orbs. Why soul orbs? Because um, uh, those are the souls of the keys that were captured by the dim... I have no clue, whatever. There isn't always a logical thought behind my decisions, so soul orbs it is. Once all 13 of them are collected, the exit door will open and Giorgio will be able to make his exit from this godforbidden place. But if he gets caught in the process, dead. But how is he able to see the worms and how will he learn what he has to do? Very good question, kiddo. Well, that is fairly simple. You see, George's brain is a five-layered neural network, each layer containing 256 interconnected neurons. Those neurons are values that get assigned an according weight that change with each iteration based on the rewards and punishment the agent endures throughout the training. And then, through mathematical formulas, those weights manipulate the input data and result in an output value, which is the agent's so-called decision. Oh, right, right. Okay. If agent does good, he gets a pat on the head. If agent does bad, he gets a slap on the butt. Which, if you ask me, is also a win, but who am I to judge? So if the agent collects a soul orb, he gets a pat on the head. If the agent escapes, he gets a huge pat on the head. However, if the agent is caught and killed by the monster, he will get a huge slap on the butt. Also, Giorgio is constantly being slapped a little bit on his bum to motivate him to solve the puzzle faster and also because he's a dirty boy. He's also able to differentiate walls from orbs and from the monster using raycasts, aka line eyes. Alright, now that you know everything you need to know about Giorgio, we can get back to the video. Initially I was planning on having this huge huge mansion with three floors and a basement. The agent would have to look for the soul orbs all over the place and it would have plenty of room to run from the monster, but boy it was dumb as hell. This idiot was unable to walk, not even talking about coming up with strategies. There were some weird problems with the navmesh pathfinding system as well. Guess how I solved them? I didn't. I went to bed and in the morning the problems were gone. How can you not love Unity? So training on a complex map did not work, but there's a reason for this big brain of mine. I thought of training the AI on a simple map and then moving it with all of its knowledge into the mansion. Mm, I'm not sure you can call that progress though. Well, yeah, that didn't work either, but mama ain't raised no pussy. What if I just make the whole environment slightly easier? Say, instead of three floors in the basement, we would only have one floor. Sounds good, doesn't work. I guess when you're as dumb as a toddler, it doesn't make any difference. If there are three huge floors or just one, you still can't fucking walk. Well, that was a bummer, but I didn't give up. I decided to make a custom map. One that would be designed in such a way that even the dumbest of the AI would be able to learn something. So that's what I did. It seemed to work, but a whole new type of problems arise. And if you're on my Discord server, you already know what I'm talking about, since I cry there all the time about my nuisance. 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 Nuisance? Nuisance. Nuisance. I have trained this thing for about 100 hours and then... Without any warning, there was a blackout. The worst thing is that the light disappears for just one minute, and that is more than enough to get all the files corrupted, so I wasn't able to continue training and had to start from scratch. Well, shit happens, I didn't lose hope, so I started training once again. Two more days of intense training, and same shit happened again. This time due to a storm, and the blackout lasted few hours. Few more hours of progress lost, but not a problem. Starting once again from scratch. 
After about a week of training when I decided to check the results, I'm not sure why I didn't do that earlier, but I realized one thing. My dumb ass forgot to tell the agent what he should be looking for. The agent basically had eyes, but was blind. Cool, cool. So guess what? I had to start training from zero once again. This time I've checked everything multiple times and when I was confident that it was all good, I started the process. I swear, this is the most unlucky project of mine, so I would appreciate your support with a like and subscribe. Luckily, this was the last time I had to train it and that's how it went. Initially, the AI was unable to do anything. It would spin on the same place without doing anything productive. Oh, well, just like you. And even if somehow it would manage to start moving, soon after it would bump into a wall or a table or the monster, since it had no clue that there was a difference between those. Half a million training steps later and yeah, not much progress has been made. Still quite dumb, but at least now it is slowly moving in one direction. Or is it? Then, nah, it definitely is making larger steps, but I'm not sure if those are the right steps. But at least it is trying and that's the most important thing. Ok, after 5 million training steps, seems that Giorgio got a grasp of how to move and is slowly making his way through the map. It looks like he finally realized that orbs are a good thing and was able to collect few. Just look at him go. He already collected 4 of them, only 9 more to go. I wonder if he also figured out that the monster is bad. <laughs> nope, no chance. Alright, 10 million training steps later and we can immediately observe some improvement. He isn't as shy as he used to be and is navigating the map with quite a quick pace now. He already got two orbs, here comes the third and the fourth. He is moving towards the fifth and right after that is the sixth one. Now he got the seventh orb and he has only eight more to go. The reason why he got two orbs instead of one is because they are procedurally generated and sometimes two orbs are spawned at the same position. So when you go there you collect both of them. And that's what happened right now. After a little bit of search he finally finds the 8th orb and after that the 9th and the 10th one. But now it's quite a dangerous moment since he passes right next to the monster, luckily it looks like the monster did not see him. Searching a little bit more and he stumbles on the 11th one. And right after that he finds the 12th soul orb. Awesome, he only needs one more and the door is open. Mm, uh, he a little confused but he's got the spirit. still has no chance against the monster. Well, fast forward 32 million steps and about 200 hours of training and here is the final result. There will be 3 of Georgia's best runs so far.
You know what else is interesting? It looks like for some reason the demon was slower at avoiding obstacles and the best part is that Georgia figured it out and even made use of it sometimes. You can find the whole project as well as the commented code on my Patreon page. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.